Broad Key is a 63-acre island located just north of Key Largo. Two bodies of water surround Broad Key, the Atlantic Ocean to the east and Biscayne Bay to the west. Broad Key is maintained by the University of Miami's Rosensteel School of Marine and Atmospheric Science. There are two ways to get to Broad Key, by sea or by air. The island does not connect to any adjacent islands with roads or means of ground transportation. If traveling by sea, a small boat is more than sufficient to navigate the shallow waters of Biscayne Bay, and a small boat can be rented from the university's small boat operation. The rate of the rental varies on the boat size and does not include the cost of fuel. But either by sea or by air, Broad Key is a short distance from Key Largo, Miami, and Key Biscayne. Broad Key enjoys a subtropical climate with summer temperatures ranging between 80 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit and winter temperatures between 65 and 75 degrees, with a rainy season between June and October. Facilities on the island include a dock, a boathouse, and the main house with a full kitchen, social room, accommodations for 16 researchers, and an open-air meeting room. Broad Key formed as a coral reef ecosystem in the Pleistocene Epoch. It is made up of Key Largo limestone covered in dense mangrove thickets. The island is a part of the larger Florida Keys Barrier Island archipelago. Settlements began as early as 10,000 years before present, and the first documented industries for farming and wrecking began in the 1600s. In the years since, it has been developed for agriculture, trade, and resorts. Today, Broad Key operates as a research station to study local, dynamic, marine and terrestrial ecosystems, and it offers a wealth of opportunities for investigation, including kayaking, snorkeling, and paddleboarding. While on Broad Key, there are several citizen science projects that you can participate in. Currently, we have two ongoing collections for the Encyclopedia of Life and iNaturalist. EOL, or the Encyclopedia of Life, is a comprehensive encyclopedia of all species of life found on Earth that utilizes volunteers to create collections of various species. iNaturalist is similar to EOL, but it relies on human observations to build its databases. Using the iNaturalist smartphone app, you are able to photograph and record the various plant and animal species that reside on Broad Key. With the help of other iNaturalist participants, the different species you observed can correctly be identified and added to the Broad Key collections. Some of the common species we were able to identify on Broad Key so far include Spanish bayonet, morning glory, saltwort, and red and black mangroves. Waters around Broad Key are typical of the Caribbean ecosystem. Hard and soft corals, including staghorn, elkhorn, and brain, are found in abundance. Fish species that are found throughout the Caribbean basin make their home there as well. One of the citizen science projects on Broad Key has been collecting fish surveys. Reef, Reef Environmental Education Foundation, is a nonprofit organization maintaining a database of fish surveys since its creation in 1990. They track changes in fish populations and densities over the years. Surveys are conducted using the rover diver technique and
recorded on underwater survey sheets. These sheets list the 100 most common fish species, such as hawkfish, parrotfish, porkfish, damselfish, and grasses, among others. Average water temperatures range from mid-60s in the winter to low 90s in the summer, which make Broad Key an excellent location for your year-round tropical research. For more information on Broad Key and research opportunities on the island, please contact the University of Miami's Virgin Still School of Marine and Atmospheric Science.